Hey guys, this is Vimeo91 and I'm talking about E3 again. Why? Because I was watching Spawner's video and apparently the ESA is planning to do actually a digital E3 this year, despite the actual E3 being cancelled. Now what would that entail? Well, what I think it would be is basically just the press conferences because you can't have a show floor digitally really. Maybe they could have like people just trying out demos. Maybe Nintendo could even still do their treehouse like they usually do because that would all just be digital and probably just different slots allotted for people to digitally show you the demos of their games instead of people actually lining up and trying them out. So I think this is good, mainly because indie devs, as I pointed out in my last video, probably now can have like an actual platform for their indie games. Because when events like GDC and E3 get canceled, I think the indie devs suffer the most because that's their big platforms, I feel like. That's the places where they could show to basically the world because a lot of people watch E3. So... I'm glad that the indie devs probably will actually have something now. Hopefully they'll be able to get their stuff into the digital presentations that E3 is doing. And maybe even some demo time or whatnot for the indie devs. I don't know. But it is good to see that the ESA seems to want to try at least to still semi-save E3 this year. Yes, the actual show floor and everything will be cancelled. But at least it seems like they want to actually still have the event even if it's just a digital event. But what do you guys think about E3 possibly going digital this year? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.